Six on your side, a man is accused of selling drugs to 15 high school students in Shelby County. Shelby County's Drug Enforcement Task Force arrested Erie and DeAndre Bryant and are charging him with several drug charges and chemical endangerment of a child. Our Shelby County reporter, Anjane Robinson, live after talking to the task force about how they got to this arrest. Anjane? Well, Jonathan, Sarah, a compact officer actually received information that one of their students had a THC vape. And after investigating, they say that Bryant was selling to high school students at Oak Mountain and Chelsea. Now, after alerting the drug task force, they were able to develop probable cause to get a search warrant for Brian's home and found him in possession of marijuana, THC vapes and firearms. There are serious consequences if someone under age is caught with the THC vape. However, instead of bringing kids into the justice system, Compact helps them through prevention, intervention and education. The Shelby County Drug Enforcement Task Force says parents and their children need to take this case very seriously. They look at it along the same lines as being in possession of a, a nicotine vape and it's really not. If it's a THC vape, a Delta 9 THC vape, it is a felony in the state of Alabama. So that alone could have tremendous negative impact on a, on a kid's future. Now Compact offers a resource for children and their parents to ascend to attend, excuse me, classes to help teens who are addicted to nicotine. Now, these are once a week classes provide that provide resources, tools and coping mechanisms to help students stop smoking. Reporting live from Shelby County, Anjane Robinson, WBRC, Fox 6 News on your side.